Hello guys, it's Michael here from Mixing Mango and welcome to this video. So yeah, I was thinking about what video I wanted to do today and I thought, uh, why not do like a little, um, like a video I used to do quite a lot, it's just basically just talking, just talking about something, a topic, and to be fair I haven't done a lot of these recently, or in a long time really, like a kind of like a rant video where I just go off, talk about a certain topic and then just talk about it. So firstly I want to just say, don't really pay attention to what's going on in the background, it's just me doing some fishing, uh, I just wanted something in the background, yeah, I didn't really want some boring, um, just me bank standing, so if you can hear me like spamming Z and X, that's me dropping the uh, trout and the uh, salmon, I don't really do this type of fishing much, honestly it's so much slower than C2 fishing, it's like half the speed, so I tend to do C2 fishing, but you know I thought why not come out here and just do something AFK while I uh, talk about a uh, topic. So yeah, today I want to talk about EOC versus Legacy. Now, I've been playing quite a bit of Legacy since it came out last week, I believe, and I've been having a lot of fun. I have to say, this is not going to be like, like, obviously, this isn't like the truth, this isn't like a fact video, this is just me giving my opinion on the two different, um, the two different games, basically, they're basically different games, different entities now, so... Don't take this seriously, obviously I know I'm probably going to get a lot of hate because I'm going to say some stuff which some people won't like about Legacy, uh, which is just my personal opinion, honestly guys, don't take this to heart, it is just my personal opinion about how I feel about the two games. So firstly, also, I wanted to want to, uh, also what I wanted to say was, the EOC I'm talking about is the beta EOC, obviously the EOC I'm playing at the moment is... Um, a lot different to how it is in the beta and obviously if you guys haven't played the beta the beta is going to be coming into the game well not like kind of soon-ish i think they said during the summer Definitely. so yeah so i'm going to be talking about the eoc um in the beta because that will be coming into the game uh sometime soon obviously i just said that a minute ago but <laughs> i uh, had to pause the video pause the video for a second so i lost my train of thought so basically at the moment the eoc that i'm playing now and everyone else is playing is obviously I'm not going to say easy, because obviously a lot of people are like, oh, EOC is so easy, you know, you can make mills, you know, just lets everyone else get really rich and just doesn't, like, support hard work. And to a certain extent, that is true. Like, most of the bosses um, at the moment, like, you take Nex, God Wars Dungeon bosses, QBD, they're all pretty easy. And obviously, apart from QBD, there aren't, they weren't all really made for soloing. And they're all quite easily soloed now. Like, God Wars Dungeon bosses are really quite easy. Um, Bandos, uh, Zadamin, Zamorak, and Armadil. They're all, like... You can go to most of them, obviously, apart from Armadil, with just Tetsu and Drygors. And I can last for about... So, yeah, you can pretty much camp those bosses for, like, three hours plus with kind of medium... Well, like, good stats, obviously, like mine. And, obviously, people are like, well, yeah, you've got you've to make a lot of money to get those stats. But... Warbands, you can get 99 from Warbands, which makes it basically for all free, pretty much, apart from Warband supplies. And then with stuff like Double XP, the Enrichment Aura, you can get uh, stuff like Prayer and, um, what's the other one? Pretty much just Prayer, yeah, just Prayer and Summoning, sorry, uh, quite cheaply, because obviously it's basically halving the cost. Obviously, the prices of resources like go up because of the demand for them, because of the uh, double XP weekend and stuff like that. But if you plan ahead, then you can actually get those skills for quite cheap, and it is kind of half the price of what it was originally. So it does make it a lot more accessible for lower, uh, lower level players, and also people are just a lot more like they're not. Af I'm not going to say afraid of bosses, but people would unless they had the gear and stats back in the day, like back in 2011. Uh, they wouldn't go to ban those. If they didn't have the gear and stats, they wouldn't go to ban those. Whereas now, people just, they want to make money quickly, they want to make it fast, so they'll go anywhere. They'll go to KK Masters, even though it's probably a bit above their kind of, above their level, but they'll do it anyway, and they'll probably make a couple of splits and make some money, and from there they can build, you know. Um, get some decent gear, get some decent gear going, camp a couple of Bod God Wars dungeon bosses, um, get a soul split, get turmoil, and then from there they can work up to overloads, and they can work up to 99 summoning and stuff like that. And generally the game is a lot easier. So, and that's what people have kind of just been like, not enjoying it as much because it is so easy, and people can get rich, uh, rich a lot easier. And that's why people prefer Legacy. I guess that is one point to it, and obviously another point to it is the PKing. And that is a big reason why Legacy is so fun. Like, personally, whenever I've been playing Legacy recently, 
all I've done is PKing and a bit of bossing. I did some corp, but generally, and I know this isn't the same for all bosses, but most bosses, uh, EOC is still going to be the way forward for bossing. I think. I'm not going to make a complete judgment of it because obviously this EOC at the moment is obviously ten times better than Legacy for bossing. You can solo next, you can solo all the Godwas dungeon bosses, uh, you can do five man Virago, you can do rots and stuff like that, you can do Calfight King. And obviously in Legacy it is a lot harder. You can't solo next, it's don't think it's actually possible. Uh, you can't do Calfight King because of Provoke and stuff, um, unless you've got some people using EOC and some people not using EOC. Um, you can't do um, Virago, you can't really do Rots, and stuff like Godwell's Dungeon is harder, you can't really sell them anymore. So it's probably not as good money. Now, how is that going to affect prices? Honestly, I don't think it's going to make them rise a lot more. So really, in theory, people will want to play EOC more because obviously for bossing, it's going to be easier and they're going to be getting more money out of it because it's going to be faster. However, for some bosses like QBD, it is actually fast. Well, not really fast, but it's quite similar on uh, Legacy, so that's quite cool. And the other thing they're going to be doing is obviously scaling EOC down, making it, I think they said 50% or 30% worse or something like that to make it similar to Legacy. So, uh, yeah, that is quite interesting. Honestly, I love Legacy, and I'm not going to... I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for this, but I don't think Jagex should be scaling down EOC for Legacy. EOC is meant to be the main game, it's meant to be their main entity, and the whole point of Legacy was to provide a second style for people, but it wasn't meant, it wasn't there to like make compromises and make EOC worse. Honestly, uh, this EOC at the moment is probably a bit too overpowered. The beta EOC, like the evolution of combat and the beta, is probably a perfect, like kind of perfect place where it is stuff like next is uh, duo trioable um, other bosses are quite difficult abilities aren't as strong uh, magic isn't as overpowered which is a good thing I know personally uh, I'm not just sounding butthurt because I don't have seismics anymore but honestly seismics are too overpowered at the moment and it doesn't really it doesn't affect me obviously because I do mainly just skilling and questing but it, it does, there does need to be some rebalancing. Honestly, EOC in the beta is probably perfect level, but then if they're going to um, make it even worse to bring it down to a legacy like legacy level, I don't think that's right. I think legacy should be legacy should be there as kind of like a second option for fun and for nostalgia, rather than a second option to actually compete with EOC. EOC should always be that tier higher. And honestly, this is just a personal opinion. You guys are entitled to your opinions. If you think I'm completely wrong, then just say down in the bottom, uh, down below. Don't start like hating on me just because I have my opinion. It is honestly just an opinion, really. So that's what I think. I think EOC should always be above Legacy. And I know Josh personally, if he watches this video after me, he will probably send me a very nasty message saying you're wrong because <laughs> he loves legacy and uh, and that's fair enough you know some people do love legacy but some people love EOC but I don't think Jagex should be really catering towards legacy as uh, being on par with EOC and uh, that's just a personal opinion really so what I wanted to talk about obviously was EOC versus legacy uh, I've talked about bossing at the moment EOC seems kind of weighted towards the better style for bossing uh, obviously it is less AFK bossing but it is faster at the moment but with the uh, updates to do with um, like nerfing EOC who knows which will be better maybe legacy will be better or maybe it'll be pretty even and in theory the only good thing that might come out of this is prices should rise because generally bosses are going to become harder and that's good I think that's really good um, obviously I love the fact that I can go to next and solo like four kills in a row but the fact is making it harder makes it in general it makes it more fun and hopefully that will rise prices the thing I don't want to happen is it to be harder and the uh, relative jump in prices is like next to nothing like you know that has happened before something changes a lot and the fact is that method of that money making method becomes like obsolete because the prices don't change and the fact is it's still not a good like money making method or something like that so hopefully if it does become harder on all platforms EOC and legacy hopefully the prices will stabilize out to that hardness so yeah that's generally what 
something that I want to happen is obviously prices scaling up but it's unlikely that they will really they probably will stay similar or maybe rise a bit but not a lot because people will still just like kind of farm bosses with just larger teams I guess less splits but people will always still be going there but yeah I guess it is largely positive obviously people get their EOC or legacy um uh, legacy, they get legacy back, you know, pre OC. A lot of people, because originally I think the main consensus before 07 was the fact we want pre OC back, you know, 2010, 2011 time. We don't really want 07, but the fact was on 07 it was still nostalgic for some and for most, and people picked up the game and were like, yeah, this is actually a lot more fun than EOC. And that's fair enough. I honestly think that's fair enough. That's just not for me. Like, I do like a bit of nostalgia, I do love seeing, you know. Uh, when I watch uh, legacy, some legacy videos now, I love seeing the like the 400s and stuff like that. But it's not for me, honestly, guys. My side of the channel will stay EOC um, for the rest because, personally, in my opinion, where's it stop? You know, people say, "Oh yeah, we want legacy now." You know, in a couple of years' time, after they've got bored of uh, legacy, like they've got bored with EOC with 07, I guess. You know, what else happens then? But you know, who knows where it's going to go? But honestly, it is really exciting um, where the future is going because I will be playing some Legacy. I will mainly stay to EOC because that is what I prefer. But Legacy is fun and the nostalgia is good. So, uh, yeah, guys, um, I'm coming to the end of this video, I guess. <laughs> Not really had a central topic, I've just been rambling a lot. But I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And if you've got any opinion on Legacy or EOC, just leave, it uh, leave a comment down below. And uh, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, thanks for watching.